Hello, my name is Bren Antrim and I'm one of the librarians here at Santa Monica College. Today we're doing a database tour of the Biography Database by Gale, and I'm going to show you how to use this database both if you're looking for an individual person and if you're looking for people related to a specific event. So the way to get to this database from the college homepage, you have to get to the library page first. You can mouse over Student Support and click on Library, or you can click on Student Support and scroll down to Academics and find us in the middle of the page. Once you're at the library homepage, there are a number of useful access points. You can um, go into the databases, which we're going to do in just a moment. You can go into the various research guides that we have on various topics from how to do research to specific things like business. You can book a study room for yourself or your group. You can look at our archived and upcoming workshops and videos on YouTube. And you can ask a librarian for reference assistance at any time 24-7. If you use this chat at a time when the SMC library is closed, you will talk to a university or college librarian who's part of the consortium to which we belong. If they cannot answer your question, or if your question is too specific and they don't have the information to help you, they can create what's called a ticket. And when we are back at work, we will answer that ticket via email, get back to you, and make sure you got what you needed. We also have upcoming events listed information that links out to our various resources available to you, hours and contact information, and our social media links. So I'm going to give two examples today for a database, um, but both of them center around people. So when I head into the databases, I have a lot of options. I have over 100 databases that I could pick from. So how do you navigate this page to begin with? Um, I could search for databases, but I highly recommend that you avoid this um, because this actually searches the description of the database. It doesn't search within the database. So, for example, if I were looking for Poet Laureate of the United States, Joy Harjo, I would not type in her name here because none of the database descriptions are going to include her name. But I could type in poets and then all the databases that have poets would come up. But today, my target is people. So if I go into subjects, I don't really have people. I have topics. If I go into database types, boop, suddenly I have biographies all about people. So when I click on that, that takes out over 100 of those 117 databases. And it leaves all of the databases that are specifically about biographical information. And you will notice most of these are about literature because that's where most of the questions come in. But some of them are broader, like current biography and today's database of interest, biography. Gale in Context of Biography has over 650,000 entries, covers many time periods, areas of study, and nations. It includes both textual information and audiovisual information, primary and secondary resources, and you can search based on a person's name, what they do for work, where they come from, etc. So we're going to head into there. And the first thing I'm going to show you is, um, say I'm in an English 2 class, and we're looking at Native American literature, and my author that I need to look for is Louise Erdrich. So if I do her name, I don't need to worry about capitalizing because the database doesn't care. Notice that it gives me options. So I'm going to head directly into her search. And the first thing that it does is it gives me an overview of this author. And it tells me a little bit about it. it. Tells me about her. Gives me options to translate it into other languages, decrease or increase the font size, um, have the display change if you have certain visual difficulties to read it to me. If I like it, I can save it to the, my drive, to the cloud, I can email it to myself, I can download it, I can print it. So I have a lot of options for keeping hold of this after I get it. The biography itself, this overview, tells a little bit about this person's life, about her partnership with another Native American writer, um, her uh, outstanding achievements, her themes, her background, so it gives me a lot of good information to just sort of foundationally describe this person. And it tells me about all of the things that she has written. And it gives me further places to look for more things, both online and in print, to find out more about her. 
for this specific overview. It gives me an option of a citation that I can copy, paste, and correct when I put into my paper. So it gives me options. And when I go back to the previous page, it breaks that down further into specific articles written specifically for this database, biographies in general that are about or include her, academic journal articles, references, which are things like dictionaries and encyclopedias, images of this person, a website about her, multiple magazine articles, and news articles. It also gives me related topics, other people who I might be interested in if I'm interested in this person. Okay, So I can go into a variety of content about her, and all of these options that I had for the biography, I have for these other things as well. So for example, if I need an academic journal article, I can take a look at one of those and once again I can change how I access it to make it easier for myself. I can save it, send it, or print it. I can get a permanent link. I can make highlights and notes on it. It allows me to explore other options that are related to it and other subjects that are related to it. Okay. And then it gives me a breakdown on this particular work that is the, tar the target or the subject of this academic journal. And it gives me the entire article. So it's pretty in depth. So this is a good way to go if you know who you're looking for. Um, I'm looking for Joy Harjo. I'm looking for Louise Erdrich. I'm looking for M. Scott Momaday. But say instead that you need to find information about a person involved with an event. Say you're in a history class and your instructor has required you to research someone who was notable in this event. You could go through um, the history databases. You could also, since you're looking for a person, go to the biography database and tell it about the event. Now notice it doesn't give me any options for this because this is not a person. This is an event. But when I click on that event, it will give me biographies of people who are either present or who are somehow attached to that event. Notice there are many fewer options because it's not about a person. So if I decide, oh, hmm, that he was a major figure in the Modoc War, oh my, I want to read more about this person. I can go in and I can read about Captain Jack, and that is his Americanized word uh, name, and it will um, give me a little bit of information about him, and then it will give me links, including the Encyclopedia of World Biography Online, one of the references, and a biography above him, about him that goes into much more um, detail. Kintpoash was his um, actual name, and then it tells a little bit about the background of the event and this person within that event. And then again, it gives me further readings, gives me options for citing it, and it links me to related articles. So this is the second way that you can use a biography database um, to use an event rather than an individual. And then when you are finished with this one, you can head back to your search and begin again. And if you have questions at any time, do again ask a librarian and we can assist you with your research. Good luck with your search.